Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be updating you guys on my Project Pan. This is my second update for my 18 and 2018 Project Pan. Um, it's going okay. I definitely think I'm doing better on some products than others. I find that with some products I'm really not using them at the rate I should be using them. Some products I'm like speeding through no problem. Other products just aren't working for me. So yeah, we're gonna... You're gonna learn all about it because we're gonna get into it now. So the first product I'm gonna talk about is my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. This is really hard to show you progress on, but um, there's an air bubble in here, so it's even harder. But I've definitely been able to, you know, bend it and it's more flexible now. Whereas when I started, I could pretty much only bend it here. I can really like get down there. Um, I really, really think that I can get this gone at least by the end of summer. Um, I don't love this foundation. Uh, it's a little dark for me, so I really would like to use this up in summer when I am a little bit tanner, not much, but just a little bit. Um, yeah, this is fine. I really don't like it. It's definitely getting old and it's just kind of meh. And But I'm making it work. I'm definitely liking it more and using it more than I would ever have used it if it wasn't in this project. If it wasn't in this project, this would not have been touched at all by me. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this will be gone somewhat soon, maybe by the next update. That may be a little ambitious because I really don't know how much is in here because of that air bubble, but it's, it's, it's going, it's going, it's going quickly. No, it's not going quickly. It's going. <sighs> next up, we have my snob lipstick from MAC. I will obviously be showing you pictures of the ones that I can show you pictures of, but uh, yet again, I'm making my way through this. I find that, you know, this one is melty and gross and it has broken off of its little thing. I've not, it's not fallen on the floor or anything, but it's definitely like wiggly when I put it on. I'm making this work. I've, you know, I've learned to layer it with lip liners and things like that to get the color to kind of shift so I'm not wearing this pinky purple all the time. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice pink. I do enjoy it. Kind of getting sick of it. Don't think I'm going to want it again when I finally do use this up, but it's moving along and I'm pretty proud of that. Next up, we have my It Cosmetics powder. This is not as bad as I thought it once was. I used to hate this product. When I bought it, I was like, why the hell? But now, the more I use it, the more I'm like, okay, it's not awful. Um, I've definitely expanded the pan on this a lot since the last update. You will obviously get progress shots of this, but um, pretty soon I'm probably gonna repress it so it's a little easier because right now it's kind of a bitch to get product out of, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is a little dark for me. So that's something to think about. Um, I can't use this. I didn't use this on like graduation day or formal or anything like that because it's got 50 SPF in it. But on the other hand, it is really nice on those warmer days when I'm gonna be spending time outside to have that SPF in this powder. It's probably my favorite thing about this powder is the SPF in it. Um, I just think it's a good way of getting your sunscreen in there, but not something I really love and I'm kind of really glad this is starting to go because I'm just so sick of it. I'm really starting to realize how much I do like loose powder. I used to be a total pressed powder person but now I understand the benefits of a loose powder um, but yeah. This should be gone soonish. This is one that I've been using, but there's no visible progress on it. This is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. I use this strictly when I have my Jouer foundation on, so it's kind of like a project pan look. Um, the main reason I can't use it with anything else is it is too dark for me just a little bit. I've had this for years, but it's like I just now realized it was too dark for me. Crazy. I don't even, I don't know what's wrong with me. But um, it works when my foundation is a little too dark for me. So um, I'm using it up that way. If there's no visible progress, I'll show you in the progress shots, but I have been using this, so... I have no idea. I'm hoping I can use this up pretty soon because if not, I'm definitely going to declutter it. Next up, we're gonna talk about body scrubs and I definitely got on the body scrub, you know, kick the past couple months. Um, started to self tan again. So I've 
started to need body scrubs. First up, I have one empty. That's the Scrub of Your Life. Um, this is just a little mini size. I love this. This is probably my favorite body scrub of all time, and I would definitely repurchase this. This is wonderful. In the same vein, I have the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. Don't like this as much. This is much messier. I like that this is in a tube. I just think pots are so messy in the shower. They get everywhere, and this, like, as a product is messier. So, and I don't like the scent of this. It's lime, but but I just prefer this. So they were fine. I'm definitely more prone to repurchase this because I only have, after the next one I talked to you about, one body scrub left. So this is another empty. This is the Bath and Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Shea and Sugar Body Scrub. This was nice. It was definitely getting old and turning, so I'm glad I used it up when I did. Not my favorite scent at all, and um, I do like the texture of this, though. This is definitely a contender um, as far as body scrubs go. I think I would definitely pick up the Soap and, Soap and Glory one before the Bath and Body Works ones. But if I was in a tough place and really needed one, I would definitely have no qualms with buying one of these. I have one more body scrub left. It is a Bath and Body Works one. It's in like snowy morning, I believe. And that got gifted to me for Christmas. So once those are all gone, I can be a normal person and buy body scrub one at a time. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Something that I didn't get into the kick of is lotion. I didn't use up any lotions at all in the last two months and that's so frustrating because I was doing so well and I really, I have like minis that I could use up that I'm like, that would be so easy to use up and you're just not. Um, the one I'm working on right now is Golden Pear and Brown Sugar from Bath and Body Works. I think I might put this on pause and use up the minis just so that I feel like I have a little bit more momentum going. Um, I picked this one because it was older, but now I think I'm just gonna do the minis to make myself feel better about the whole thing. After this, I have two minis and then a body lotion, not body cream from Bath and Body Works. So that should be interesting considering I don't love the body lotion formula from Bath and Body Works, but I also haven't tried it in a while. So we'll see how I feel. Um, but yeah, I just, I need to kick it into gear and use these because it's really frustrating me. Next up, we have my Hervana blush. This I had had pan on when I started the project, and I believe I'm expand expanding the pan. I don't know. I feel like I really didn't expand this as much as I did after from the first update. The first update, I'd really seen progress, and now I'm just, I don't know. I don't see the progress you know, in the same way that I did before. Maybe we'll, maybe the progress pictures will tell me otherwise, but yeah, I'm using this quite a bit. Um, I still love this blush. It's like one of my favorite blushes. Uh, and I will be sad when it's gone, but I'm like, come on, let's get to going. It is really thin around where the pan is and I do have a fairly good dip the rest of the pan. So I'm hoping that this will just start to go at like, I'm hoping it'll like reach that point and then it just goes, but we'll see. Next up, we have an empty product, a finished product. I think this is like my only, like my only, like my second completely finished product of this entire pan. And this is the Taylor Swift Enchanted Wonderstruck perfume. This is the 1.7 ounce bottle. I, liked this. It was not an issue to use up. It's not something I'm going to repurchase. I'm really over celebrity perfumes now, but it wasn't bad. And I think that's like really my big thing is that I have some celebrity perfumes that I'm like, this does not smell good, but this was good. Um, it's very nostalgic for me just from the original Wonderstruck perfume, but I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm glad that it's gone because I bought more perfume, but uh, yeah. That's done, I'm so excited, like, hell yeah, I used like half this bottle, great. Next up, we have one that I could definitely be done with by now, but for some reason I'm not because I suck at remember remembering to do face masks, lotion and face masks, I like can't remember to do. But it is the Glam Glow Mask, as you can see, I definitely, definitely have progress there, and uh, I definitely think this is gonna be gone by next update, if not like, uh, by the end of May, this will be gone. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's a pretty expensive mask that I've just like sit in my cabinet and I'm like, whenever I see the price of these masks, I'm like, holy crap, I need to use that. What the hell? Because I think I got it in a set, so I'm not really like aware of how much this particular mask is, but holy shit, like I need to use this and it's old and it's probably going off, so 
this just needs to be done. This just needs to be done. It's not bad. It doesn't break me out like I was scared it does. It's pretty great. It makes my skin feel like a baby's butt, but it needs to be gone. <laughs> Next up is sunscreen. I have one little sunscreen empty. This is the Tarte Tarte Guard. I did not like this. It was greasy. It was thick. It was gross and I'm just glad it's gone. I'm now working on the Dr. Jart UV one and as you can see that's where I am. I do keep it upside down when I store it just because it's much easier to get the product out. So my updates are gonna go like this. Like instead of that way they're gonna go this way. Um whatever. But yeah, I really like this. Uh, it's thinner. It's not as greasy. I don't feel it on my skin. Uh, just much prefer it to the Tarte one. Next up, we have another product that I can't show you progress on. This is the Too Faced Lip Primer. I do use this every single time I use a bullet lipstick. So when I'm using the lipsticks that I'm panning, this gets used. I like it. It's fine. It definitely increases the longevity of the lipstick. Um, I wish I could show you progress on it. I have no idea. I don't need much every time I use it, so I don't know. And this was pretty much full when I started, so I'm not sure how much project product is still in here. It has started raining, so if you can hear that, I apologize. But um, yeah, it's good. I like it. Um, I'm not buying Too Faced anymore, so I won't be able to repurchase it when I'm done, but I like it. Next up, we have Bumble and Bubble Surf Spray. Basically, all of my surf sprays are getting counted in this. I'm thinking I'm gonna declutter one or two just because I have more than I could possibly use. I have one head of hair and I don't have much hair anymore, so I don't need much of this. This is decent, I don't hate it. I just, for some reason, can never remember to put it in my hair. I put in like a leave-in product and then I just let my hair dry and forget that this needs to be done. So I'm hoping the summer will kind of like kick it into gear and get me to use this a lot more, so. Fingers crossed, that's what happens. Next up, we have a product that's never ending and I'm like, why did I put this in this project? Because holy crap, guys, like I knew this was gonna be hard, but like, damn. I only have one brow product and it is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Wow, that is really hard to get out for some reason. And I've made progress on it, you're not gonna be able to tell, but I have because just, it doesn't wanna focus, but you'll see in the progress picture. I literally only use this. I think I've only used my brow powder that I own one time. I have not br bought a brow pencil for the pure reason that I know if I do, I won't use this because it's easier for me to use the pencil. So I only have been using this. I've really figured, I've gotten the hang of it a lot more. There's some days where I'm like, what in the hell did you just do to your face? But I've kind of mastered the way this works a little bit more where it doesn't always have to look so intense every single day, which is nice. But, um, my god it's just like it doesn't end i've definitely i've only been going from the sides because i just find that it's easier to work with from there for some reason i just constantly pull from the sides i'm not pulling from one specific area like the middle where i think if i did that i would probably see more progress well, maybe i'll try that next month um but i really like this it's a great product it just never ends next up we have the buxom lip gloss in april right yeah april um I'm using this. I'm using this mostly with the snob lipstick. I find that I really like that, but it just isn't going anywhere. I don't use much. I don't need much. This is definitely starting to go off. I don't have much left, as you can see. I don't understand how people pan these so quickly. I just don't like lip gloss that much, and I don't like it. I don't like to use that much. I use like a little bit right in the middle, and then I kind of spread it out on my lips. So I use like the tiniest amount every time. So that is probably why this is going so slowly. But I'm just trying to remember to use it because I have just gotten off lip gloss for so long that remembering to do it now is just like a whole other thing. Next up, we have the Lady Gaga for MAC Viva Glam lipstick. This is my first ever MAC lipstick. So yeah, it needs to go. Um, but I'm not going to declutter it because... I like it a lot. Um, it's a very bubblegummy pink. I haven't used this quite as much. I think I've made a little bit of progress on the little lip that for some reason all of my lipsticks go into, but um, I think this will definitely start to move a lot faster now that it's summertime, now that brighter lips and, you know, brighter pinks are going to be a little bit more in and easier to wear. So I'm hoping that summer will really kick this one into gear and I can have it done and moved on with. <sighs> This next one, guys, is the biggest fail, I think, even more than the lotion, just because I just, I don't like it. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight in Hefty Highlight 01. 
this I can't use with the Jouer foundation. It moves it. I even, like, I will have, I've started to just kind of put it on a brush and then put it on instead of putting it directly onto my face. And even that sometimes moves it. I don't know, there's something in here that that Jouer foundation does not like. Some other foundations work fine with it. My Wet n Wild one doesn't love it either, but it works a little bit better than the Jouer one. And I literally have, like, no progress on this. Like, none. I just don't like cream highlighter. And that's kind of something that I'm realizing. And I think I'm going to declutter all of my cream and some of my liquid highlighters just because I don't like them. I don't like the way this looks. I much prefer a powder highlight. I literally put a powder highlight on top of this. Like, it's never on its own. I might start... I know I've started to use it on my collarbones some days and, like, on my shoulders. Um, I might start using it on days when I don't wear makeup and just, like, really blending it out just to try to get some use out of this. I don't want to declutter it while it's in a pan, but I'm gonna give it until the next update and then I'll call it whether or not I'm gonna keep it or not. So, we shall see. Next up, we have the Hourglass, what is this called? Ambient Lighting Palette. I love this, and this project has really just reminded me how much I do really like these powders. I'm really glad I put it in here. I have made a little bit more progress. You can kind of see the pan around the sides of dim light, just because how I use this is I swirl my brush between these two shades, and then I put it all over my face. I am so pale that that works and it does kind of, especially if my, my foundation has gotten a little cakey or really matte, this definitely livens up my skin a little bit. It makes it look a little less like crazy cakey or matte. Um, so that's been great. And for a while I wasn't using this shade at all. And I just recently started to use it as a bronzer just around like the outside or high points of my face. And I really, really like it like that. It is, um dark enough for me that I can use this as a bronzer. I had literally like never touched it before realizing I could use it as such. I'm starting to get more into bronzer, which helps. But um, yeah, so this is going well in my opinion because I really do use it every single time I use my make, I do my makeup. So I really, I'm not worried about this product just because I seriously use it every single time I do my makeup now without fail. And last up, I have the Naked palette to show you guys. I'm pretty excited, guys. I have hit pan on two shades, and those shades are Sidecar and Sin. I have hit pretty substantial pan on Sidecar, in my opinion, and then pretty tiny baby pan on Sin because I just hit that today. However, I'm just really excited about it. Um, those are my two favorite... Oops. Sidecar and Sin are my two favorite shades in this palette, so it's no surprise that I hit uh, pan on them first. I am going to start to try to use the rest of the palette because I've definitely been focusing on the first five shades. I think the next one I definitely want to hit pan on is Naked and then just continue to expand the pan on Sin and Sidecar and just get more use out of the rest of the palette because I think I was really obsessed with hitting pa uh, pan on these two because I knew they were my favorites. Um, so now I can kind of explore the rest of the palette a little bit more and get some more use out of them. That. I'm not super worried about what this looks like by the end of the year because no matter what it looks like I am going to toss this because it's old and buy a new one because I do love this palette so so much it's just a great go-to palette for me and um, I'm glad it's starting to actually show its use and the final thing to do today is to add in a product to replace the Taylor Swift perfume. And the product that I'm going to add in is my Lady Gaga Fame perfume. I know Lauren May Beauty has a much bigger size of this that she's trying to pan right now. And I just thought it was a good option. I have used, where's my line? I have used quite a bit of it. Like, as you can see, um, this is only a one ounce bottle, so it's a little bit more doable than any of my bigger perfumes. Um, I definitely have perfumes in the lineup to be panned, but this is the one I just decided to pick for right now. I'm hoping this will go pretty quickly. Um, I found a way to start panning my perfumes that I really like, so hopefully it works for this. So yeah, those are all of my pan updates. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below anything that you are currently trying to pan and how that is going. But yes, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye.